Before we take a look at the DCC booster that I've built, I'd like to give a quick overview of the test uh, station that I have set up here. This is a, uh, a DCC uh, powered locomotive, happens to be number 7375, which matches the 7375 here on the screen. Uh, in the back of this is a DCC++ controller and a standard Arduino uh, motor shield that's used to supply the DCC power to the track. In the front is a throttle that I've built up. It's an infrared that was explored on another video. It's controlled by a, a little uh, uh, infrared remote like this. And the power from that uh, motor shield goes through this wire onto the track. There's a 14-volt uh, battery in the background that's uh, just for simplicity's sake is used to power the whole thing. And if I hold the up arrow, you may recall this is a talking throttle. Faster, faster, faster. Going backwards. Forward, two, three. So I can go backward and forward, backward two, start, three. stop, and so on with stop. this controller. Now the next step is to disconnect the DCC power that uh, this is sending to the track and put it through the booster. So I'm going to stop the, uh, uh, the camera and I'll get that set up. Be back in a second. Okay, we've made a few changes here. The main one is uh, bringing in a DCC booster. And if I kind of flip it up this way, you'll see the parts. There's a liquid crystal display here on the front. This is a uh, supposedly 43 amp uh, H bridge that I got on eBay. I uh, don't know if it does 43 amps, but it certainly does 5 or 10 rather nicely. And it is connected uh, to a circuit in the back, which is an Arduino over here, a Pro Mini. And to the left of that on the circuit board is a uh, DCC, um, I'll call it an extractor for lack of a better word. You hook DCC up to it and it actually pulls the DCC signal off. And that can then be fed uh, into that uh, uh, H-bridge. What we're going to do is disconnect the DCC output from the, uh, the motor shield on the, R, uh, on the DCC++ controller. We're going to plug that in to the DCC input on the circuit board. And you see when I do that, the booster comes to life. And then we're going to take the track and hook it up to the output from the DCC booster. So we got wires everywhere. Now a couple of things on the screen that are kind of important. Let me zoom in there a little bit for you. It says that the max A, the maximum number of amps that this will supply is 7.4. That can be changed. I can turn the pot up here at the top. I can go the whole way from 0 up to 10. Now again, it may go to 43 amps. I don't see any reason to have more than 10. Even that's a bit high. I'm going to turn it down. Let's just turn it down to 4. Now what that means is that this system is going to shut down if you try to draw more than 4 amps from it. And there's a little symbol down here that says 0.0%. .0%. It's going to show you uh, the percent of the 4 amps that you're using as you operate your, uh, your locomotives. And next to the DCC booster, is a pretty hefty power supply. This is 13.8 volts at 20 amps. Way more than I need. I'm going to turn it on and nothing real exciting happens. But now if I take the remote and I tell the locomotive to go faster, starts going backwards. Now if you look at the display it says 0.5 percent. Now it's 0.3 percent. What that means is at the moment, it was drawing just a fraction of a percent of the four amps that it's capable of uh, supplying. What I'd like to do is to put a bigger uh, current draw on that. I've got a couple of automobile uh, taillight bulbs, incandescent bulbs, and if I can get these to clip on, let me do it down here so the camera doesn't pick the light up so much. Okay. That bulb just kicked in and you may uh, be able to see on the screen it says that the booster is now drawing about 50%. That bulb is drawing about 2 amps. Now if I try to put a second bulb on to the track, 
if you watch the screen, it should kick out. It may kick out and come back in again. Let's, oh, it says power off for two seconds. Power off for two seconds. It's trying to supply uh, that more, four amps, it, but it's discovering that it can't. Now, if I turn this up, let's take it up to eight amps. And there we go. We've got the bulbs on and it's drawing about 47 percent of the 8.2 amps that are being uh, supplied by the booster. You can run this thing all day and the the chips on that uh, H-bridge don't even get warm at 8 amps so I'm, I'm sure that it's going to be quite happy running up to 10 maybe a little bit more than that. 